What is up Karatics? In this video we're going to be customizing the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT in the Crew 2. It is right here. They're still making this car currently. It's their flagship sports car. High performance while at the same time having a nice luxurious feel in the interior. It's a very very nice car. And it's a lot more affordable than the uh, SLS and the SLR over there, <laughs> which those cars were pretty much untouchable at the time. The orders were through the roof, the demand was very high, and those cars were very, very pricey. As a matter of fact, the SLS is still worth a lot of money today. These, they're just mass-produced right now, to be honest. They're not really anything special. The doors open normal, unlike the SLS and the SLR, which have crazy doors that open differently and all that, and... More sophisticated engines, to be honest. I mean, the V8 by Turbo is a great engine, don't get me wrong, but they use that in a lot of their cars. But anyways, the price of his car in the Crew 2 is $510,000. If you have the Gold Edition, it is 408. You save approximately 100 grand there with the Gold Edition because of a 20% discount. Alright, so first let's show the manufacturer colors here. You have the yellow, the blue, black. Gray, silver, red, dark red, and the white. So I'm going to paint it in white. It looks really nice. Okay. Next up, we got the visual parts here. I don't know why. There we go. All right. So the first option you got is a carbon hood. Don't really like the separation there too much. Let's see that one. It was messing around with the front bumper earlier. So I picked this one. But you guys can see the other options as well. So the first option was supposed to be this one. So this one, what it does is it changes the inside of the headlights. You can see here the difference. If I go back and forth between this one. Yeah, that's, that's the stock one. It's like a, a silver with the lighting. There you go. You can see it there. Right around the headlights. Like a silver blackish color. And then what that does is it makes it white. And it makes the inside of the light carbon fiber, which is very, very nice. And also right above the Mercedes emblem there, carbon fiber around the grill. Very, very cool. Alright, so this one you got this carbon centerpiece at the bottom. That one with that. This one that I showed you earlier. The stock headlight. And you have this one with some canards here. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there's no uh, AMG GTR uh, front bumper here, unfortunately, but... There are some other parts I'm going to show you here. I already looked through it. I was very curious. I really couldn't wait. <laughs> I've had this car now for a couple days. So. Alright, let's do that there. Very nice. I love this bumper. I think it looks really good. It gives it a nice finish. Alright, next up we got the front fenders. So basically, all it changes is it makes that silver piece of carbon fiber, just like the uh, AMG GTR. Even though that one only has uh, one line on that too, but I mean, unless you're getting closer to it. Next up, we got the wheels. So these are all the factory wheel options here. Now, if you guys want to see all the 80 in-game wheels, if you haven't seen them already, I'll put that at the end of the video. I know it's quite a bit to go through, but for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I'll put that at the end of the video. Now, the closest wheel to the AMG GTR wheel is this one. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the uh, actual wheel that comes in that car. I don't know why they didn't do that. This is a very nice alternative though. I love these wheels. These are an option on the AMG GT. I think it costs like like two or three thousand dollars more. It's a lot just for these wheels. But they're center locking wheels, they're very nice. Definitely gonna keep those on there. Next up we got the caliper color. In red. So it already comes in red when you buy the car. So keep that in mind. And you can change it obviously like I showed. Next up we got the side mirrors, so you can get those carbon fiber, again, just like the AMG GTR, you can kind of see the pattern here. Next up we got the side skirts, you guessed it, just like the AMG GTR. They're the exact same side skirts, identical, carbon fiber, the same shape, everything. Next up we got the rear wing here, we got this one, this one, okay, and you guessed it, <laughs> the AMG GTR spoiler. Now this one's almost identical. The only little thing is that the bottom portion that you see in carbon on the AMG GTR, that part is painted. Not the actual spoiler, but the part it's attached to. On this one, it's carbon. So it's really up to you. 
This card does have an active arrow spoiler, which will be deactivated when you put this wing on there. But I do really like the way this wing looks. I think it really finishes off the car, and I'm going to put it on there for sure. So, let me do that. Rear bumper. You have that one, which makes the bottom portion uh, all carbon, which is really nice. So, it gives you the quad exhaust. And then here we have the AMG GTR rear bumper, with the exception... This one does not have the heat extractors. So I'll throw a picture on screen what that looks like. I think that's absolutely badass. I love those heat extractors. I don't know why they didn't incorporate it here. They pretty much gave us the same bumper minus the uh, the accent white line there, but it's almost identical. I just really don't understand why they didn't just give us the entire bumper. It's like they're teasing us. <laughs> I want to do that bumper there. Next up, we got the interior color. So... The way it comes, we already got this beautiful red stitching, Alcantara. Very, very nice AMG seats. Very well done. You can go ahead, if you want to make your own, you can start uh, going through these options here. Different ones there. So I do want some more of a red rather than just the red stitching and accents. I wanted more of a red to it. So I was looking at this one, and then you have the interior styles. So that, that's the way it comes stock there, as you can see. We're, gonna, we're gonna definitely going to do this one. I like this one a lot. It's a little more red, but not too much. So you got it on the door panels there. The center of the seat, not the entire seat. We still got the red accent stitching. Looks very nice. Interior materials. Oh, wow. When you put it to that, it makes it all leather. Because when I was changing it, it was suede. Now it's leather again. <laughs> That is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna do the leather. I like the leather. Interior inserts. So boom, you can make all that instead of all that polished silver. You can make it all carbon fiber. Very nice. What is the door sill plates as well? You can see there changing. Very nice around the AC vents too. Ready, and then you, or you can do the gospel, uh, the uh, gloss black. Okay, so I'm gonna do the carbon fiber there. That looks great. And that will complete our build. Wow. <laughs> that looks really good. I like it. White and red combination. Very nice. Alright. Just to show here. This car is 100% stock. We'll upgrades on there. Alright. So now we're going to take it off for a little drive and see how it does. So I'm going to do a top speed run stock as our baseline, and then a top speed run fully maxed out, like we always do, using a nitrous at the end. See what the speeds we're going to get here with this thing. Let's see how it sounds. Oh yeah. Nice beefy V8. We have the turbos there as well. Feels fast. Doesn't feel as fast as the SLS, but definitely feels fast. We'll see how it does when it's maxed out. It does look very nice though. Alright, so we're gonna do a top speed run here in a moment when we get to the spot. Ah, oh, it's like a breaking time. Wow, traction as well. The, uh, the SLS, I feel like it has a better brakes on the stock without any tuning. This one, the brakes still feels good. Yeah, brakes still feels good on this one. Alrighty. So, so again, it's 100% stock. I'm going to use nitrous at the very, very end to help us out with the top speed a little bit. So here we go. One seventy didn't seem like it was budging more than one seventy. 
The SLS did, I believe it was 205 there. I know it was over 200 when we did the SLS run there. It's like 197, something like that. It was very close to 200. All right, so obviously this thing needs more, uh, more of a kick. So let's see how it does fully maxed out. Let's put all the upgrades on it. All right, so just to show here that it is fully maxed out one more time. So you say 280 out of 280. 225 mile an hour top speed, 632 horsepower. Zero to 60 in 2.4, jeez. That is insane. That is very fast. My gosh, I guess this thing really did turn into an animal when we maxed it out. Alrighty, well, let's, uh, let's see how she does. Now this run might vary for you because of the nitrous perks and the icon points and all that, but it's a good ballpark estimate, and uh, you're going to be able to see how it performs fully maxed out. Again, I'm going to use the nitrous at the very end, so here we go. Two twenty five. Oh my goodness. Damn. These cars are absolute animals when you modify them. These Mercedes sports cars, I don't know what the heck they do to them. Because there's other cars that you modify and yeah, they get a nice bump, but not. Right, these cars are just insane the amount of bump they get when you max them out. Especially the acceleration. I mean, look at this. Let's do this one more time. I mean, geez, 80 just like that, first and second year. That's just insane. That is very, very fast. I do like this car. I do like the SLS a little more as far as looks. But, I mean, this is a great-looking car as well. Very well done. And I personally prefer the, this grill over the grill in the AMG GTR. I like this one a little more. I kind of do like this car a little more, to be honest. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.